Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this short video, I'll show you how to change or set your default font in OneNote for Windows 10. Now, I myself am an avid OneNote user, and I use OneNote to keep just about everything in my life organized and moving forward and keep me on track with my goals. I'm a YouTube creator, I'm a blogger at OneNoteworthyLife.com, and I host the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group. So, let's talk about the default font. Well, this is an account-wide setting, meaning that it becomes the font of any new pages you create in any open notebooks. It doesn't override fonts on text that you have already created, and you can pick a different font for any new text you want to add. This is just the default setting that it will uh, be the font that comes up if you don't pick something else. So, to find the default font, you're going to click, and I am recording in OneNote for Windows 10, so you're going to click these three dots on the upper right, go to Settings, and select Options at the very top of the list. Once you're in Options, you're going to scroll down, and you see this setting for default font. And it's set at Calibri. I think that's a pretty common one that it comes with, and frequently it's at like size maybe 11. I've moved that up to 20 just um, for purposes of the video. It makes the uh, video easier to see. So that's our default font at the moment is Calibri 20. And I'm going to show you how that works. So right in the section I'm in, I'm going to add a page. And I'm going to call this New Page. Calibri. I'm going to move it down to the bottom just to keep it organized. And I'm going to type some text here. And when I click on this, when I select this text box up here um, in the home menu, it tells me that this is in fact Calibri size 20. Um, so now I'm going to change the default setting to a different font. So I'm going to go back to those three dots click settings right up here at the top I'm going to click options and then I'm going to scroll down until I find the default font. Now the one I'm going to pick is called Chiller and I've pre-selected that um, just because it looks very different from Calibri and I know um, what it looks like so I wanted to make sure I picked something that would be clear for the video demonstration so that's why I picked this one but you could use any of these. Oops, clumsy hands here. So I've picked Chiller size 20, and I'm going to click away to just leave that as is. I'm going to add a page, and I'm going to move it down to the bottom just to keep my video organized. I'm going to call this new page Chiller, and you can already see even in my title that the new font is there. Uh, and again, when I select this text box up, up here in the home menu, you can see that I am in chiller size 20. Um, and just to show you that this is a um, bigger, the setting affects more than just the current section of my current notebook, I'm going to go to a different section in this same notebook. So I'm going to go to, this was the last video I did, I'm going to click add a page, and I'm going to call this the chiller font demo. So even though I'm in a different section than the section I was in when I originally set the font at Chiller, it's showing up on this new page. And then to take that demonstration one step further, I'm going to go into a completely different notebook. So right now I'm in my demo notebook, and you know that because it says it right here uh, at the top of the page list. So I'm going to click on this left-hand arrow. This will bring me to all my open notebooks. And I'm going to pick Danny. Danny is my dog. <laughs> I'm going to click Add a Page. And I'm going to call this New Page in Danny Notebook. And you can see again that the Chiller font shows up. And if I uh, just type some text, you can see the Chiller font. And looking again at the home menu, we can see we're in Chiller size 20. So just to bring this full circle, I'm going to go back and set this back to Calibri. So I'm going to go to Settings, Options. I'm going to scroll down. And 
go back to Calibri, and I like a Calibri size 12. That's usually the one I use. I'm going to go back to my demo notebook, and I'm going to insert one more page, drag it down to the bottom. And when I select this text box, you can see we are in Calibri size 12. Um, so that's it. That's how you change the default, the, the default font in OneNote. Now I'm creating this tutorial in response to a question that was emailed to me. So if you have questions or comments you want to ask me, you can go ahead and drop those in the comments section of this video, or I'll also put a link to my contact information in the description of this video, and you can reach out to me that way as well. I love getting questions and comments, and I love trying to figure things out if I don't know the answer. So feel free to reach out anytime I can be of help to you. So if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button so I know you like this. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.